What's up everybody? Furious Pete in my funit, in the unit. I call it the funit. People have always asked me, hey guys, what does funit stand for? And it's basically just unit with furious in front of it. F, F unit. That, that's it. Nothing else special to it. Um, and that's why I wanted to kind of change a bunch of stuff. So this is really just the D4L gym and, and just, just my warehouse and whatever, right? Um, couple things, haven't vlogged inside of here in a little while, I'm back here, uh, I'm gonna be training. Before I get into today's vlog, couple things that I want to go over, I got belts coming in tomorrow, I have knee sleeves coming in tomorrow, I have wrist wraps coming back in stuff, camo ones. I haven't seen camo wrist wraps, I haven't, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm making them. Um, they're dope. Uh, they're really, really uh, heavy duty. Um, I know that all you, I think that's like the most demanded product right now that I have is wrist wraps. Uh, people love them and uh, the belts are going to be awesome. Knee sleeves are also going to be camo. How cool is that? Super cool. I'm super pumped for all that stuff. But I wanted to get into something that it's time to, you know, I did my cutting. And now I told you guys I want to get into strength. Um, and that is my next goal, is to get into strength. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna get fat. That doesn't mean that it's time to eat so much calories and all this other stuff. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still relatively lean, guys, and I'm gonna be keeping it that way. My diet is back in check, back home, eating my eggs, um, eating my veggies, and, and just really keeping it clean. Keeping it clean, keeping that diet clean. Obviously, carbs are gonna be increased much more to make sure that my strength is at par. I was gonna do deadlifts today, but I'm just gonna do some bench. Uh, deadlifts are gonna be tomorrow for a workout. But I wanted to show a bar that I picked up. This is actually, I didn't buy this yet. So the local place here that sold me the rack, they said, hey, you, guys, you can just try out this bar. I wanted, ugh, geez, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I wanted a power bar um, that could, if you guys haven't seen my deadlift videos lately, there's been a frustration where the bar just slips out or I have no grip, you know? And it's because it's not a power bar. So I need a goddamn power bar for those heavy weights. My next goal is to really jump it up on deadlifts and try and just get as strong as I humanly possibly can with deadlifts. So I need, I need the proper equipment for it. So I'm testing out this bar. This is a really solid power bar up to 1500 pounds. Um, obviously on bench press, you're not gonna see that much of a difference, but hell, you might. Uh, I have noticed that with this black bar that I have here, um, although it uh, does go up to 1,500 pounds, because it isn't a power bar, because it's an Olympic bar, um, it tends to slide a little bit as I'm picking it up. And that actually messes up with my grip and really just, doesn't give me the opportunity to be as focused with the lift as I want to be. Uh, and obviously that is very, very crucial. Um, the moment you start uh, with the lift, that is like the most important part. If you're starting off and you're wobbling already, you're totally fucked for the lift. You really are. You wanna be as confident and as solid when you jump off the rack. That is super duper important. And so I wanna make sure that 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 if it's simply just the bar that I need to replace, that is totally worth it for my training. My training is the most important part to me uh, in regards to part of my career, obviously fitness and everything like that, so I gotta make sure that my training doesn't just get ruined because of a goddamn bar. So if I need to replace the bar, that is worth it. So I'm testing out this bar, seeing if I like it. If I like it, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't even think it's that expensive. Um, so it's, it's worth it. People were saying get the Texas bar, but I don't think I can get it up here in Canada. And personally, I don't think I want to pay for uh, US to Canada shipping for a bar. It's gonna cost exactly the same amount as the bar to ship it with all the duties and everything. So I always, you gotta always factor that in. If a bar is gonna be almost the exact same, um, but a different name to it, I mean, come on guys, right? Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get into some bench press. I haven't done a solid bench press workout in quite some time, so I don't know how heavy I'm gonna be able to go, but we're gonna try. Let's do some one reps. Let's do some one rep maxes here, shall we? Let's do it.
feels good. Feels real good. basically just curious after a month of like chaotic chaoticness you know um, after I finished my Fury 60 cut I've just been traveling all the time and training has been just absolute shit so we're, we're sticking with one rep uh, just to see what it feels like All right, 365. Little piece in. Here we go. Feel pretty good. 385, no, yeah, 385, 385. Give it a try. I normally have the, the safety things, uh, but they're being a little bit altered for me. Um, so right now, doing the idiotic thing with no spotter, no nothing, going heavy. Don't do this at home. Only do this if you're an idiot. Like me, here's Pete. No, I'm kidding. I think I'm pretty confident with this weight right now. Um, and you know, the good part is if anything happens, viral video right here. So that felt pretty good. I'm gonna call it quits at that. I'm happy with that weight. I think I can go heavier because that felt pretty fast overall. No sluggish-ish or anything like that. 415, I uh, haven't done bench in a little while, like heavy ones. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm sure I can probably go up to 425, 430 or something. Maybe heavier, who knows? Um, but I'm happy with that. But I don't want to go any heavier. I don't have a spotter. I don't have my safety spots. Um, so just stupid to go heavier, right? I think it was stupid just to do that alone, but I'm kind of adventurous. Kind of adventurous. Anyways, guys, uh, that'll be it for today. Um, well, it's not it for today. I'm actually going to be doing incline dumbbells and uh, and, and then some flies to, to end off the workout, but that's that's gonna be it for the one reps. Um, it does feel good, it does feel good. So thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna be training a lot more. Unfortunately, I'm gone next week again. Collabing with a bunch of big YouTubers, which is gonna be fun, heading down to Cincinnati, so that should be a really good time. Uh, but then I'm back for like two, almost two weeks. So then I get to train hard, right here. Try and become stronger, bigger, Faster, stronger, mostly stronger. That's pretty much it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. As always, my friends, 
I love you all. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get